What's up, fellow Geminis? It's your girl, Sif, from Savvy Sentient, and this is your daily reading. If you are new here, hello and welcome. Uh, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. really helps out the channel tremendously, um, and I appreciate it. If you are not new, welcome back. All right. If you all are interested in personal readings, I am open for them. I do have time. Uh, you're going to head on over to SavvySynthian.com. That is where you'll book. It is linked in the description box, along with all of my other social media, so you can follow me everywhere, and my Spiritual Safe Place group and Patreon if you'd like to join those, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and get into your reading, Gemini. Like, what's up, friend? <laughs> what is up? Because the last three readings, the last three daily readings have been about love have been about a situation with someone who is not benefiting you, who isn't good for you, who is not healthy for you, whatever the case. And it seems like this person is lingering around in your energy. I don't know if it's because you're letting them or if they're on some creepy stalker shit, but whatever the case is, um, these are the messages that I got during my meditation. The first message that came through was Maroon's Maroon 5, um, this love, this love is taking its toll on me. She said goodbye too many times before. Those are the lyrics. Do you hear that shit? It's taking a toll on you because this person keeps coming and going. They're in and out. They're playing with you. The next message that I got was Cardi B. Press, 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 press along with a heartbeat. So what what I put together was like press, 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 trying to get this heart back pumping. Like someone's trying to get you going for them again. Someone is trying to have your interest again. All right, now the way the last few readings were set up, this is not a healthy person. But let's see what comes out today. I'm going to go ahead and pull Love Oracles um, because it seems that we're going to keep talking about love. Okay. So what we got? What we got, Spirit? Hello. Hello. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Whatever this is, this is not reciprocal. This is not a, a, an equal give and take. This is someone who is a taker. They're trying to take everything you got, Gemini. They're trying to get you riled up to even take what you have emotionally, a response from you. And I feel like whether that response is negative or positive, they don't care. They want it. They want something from you. Energy. Energy. Okay? So let's go ahead and get a love oracle for you as well from the Lover's Oracle deck. If you all like any of these cards, they are going to be linked in the description box below as well. And let's see what came out. It flew out. Spirit said this one, undeniably. <laughs> undeniably this one. So this is the card. Okay, beautiful deck. And it says, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is not the time... Well, now is the time to give to yourself, not to this person. Again, um, this shit is not reciprocal, all right? So even spirit is saying, pull back, Gemini. Pull back. Don't give in to this. Don't give yourself to this, all right? So let's go ahead and see what the love oracles say as well. Love oracles. Hmm. Hmm. Look. I'm a whole psychic out here in these streets, okay? In these spiritual in these spiritual streets. So the first card that comes out is the Phoenix card. It says new phase. New phase. Rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. Okay. Changed mind. The next card says reminiscing, keepsake, learn from the past and make memories. 
And the final card says, not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversation, call, person, boundaries, and still angry. So this is not even something that you have healed yet. And Spirit is saying, this is the time for you to focus on your healing. Stop going round and round with this person because this person is not serious. This person is all games, okay? We haven't even gotten into the tarot, and they come in hard with this message. Spirit is being very loud right now with you, Gemini, because you need to get this message, all right? You need to get this message. Coming out in the reverse... Six of Wands, like, come on. Ain't no victory here. Ain't no success with this person. Two of Swords and Temperance. You are stagnating your healing because you are not deciding. You are not deciding to do what's best for you, okay? Um, and this may even be the past energy. You haven't had success with this person, and you haven't healed because you haven't gotten out of your feelings and gotten um, and started using your head when it comes to the situation. You are operating out of out of emotion, and the Four of Swords is coming up, saying that this is a time of rest and recovery. And this specific card, this soldier is looking back at the war. He is recalling the war, that Three of Swords energy, that pain that you've gone through with this person. Okay. Six of Pentacles in the upright. This is reciprocity, equal give and take. I feel like this is what you wanted. It's falling under the, the Phoenix energy as well, the way I've placed the cards. It's falling under the Phoenix energy. And you do want reciprocity. But I feel like with this energy, this person is the person holding the, the fishing hook. Okay? This person has been leading you around, playing games with you. Saying what you wanted to hear to get what they wanted from you. Okay? The next card that came out is the Ace of Swords. Victory, success, and breakthrough. Here in the center of your reading. That's what this is all about. If you want success, if you want a victory, you're needing to pay attention to what Spirit is trying to tell you. If you want your Nine of Cups, if you want your wish fulfillment, if you want emotional satisfaction and stability... Spirit is saying, you need to listen up. Pay attention. We're trying to lead you to peace. We're trying to lead you to peace. Full card. It's time to start a new cycle with optimism. It's time to move forward. This cycle is over. It's closed. It's finished. It's done. It's canceled. Okay? Leave it where it's at. If you do that, this new cycle will lead you to success. It will lead you to um, happiness. The Wheel of Fortune is moving in your favor. This new cycle is going to be one of great fortune for you, okay? And what's the final card, Spirit? <laughs> the Five of Cups. It's time to stop crying over that spilled milk and focus on the cups that you still have left standing. Clarify that Five of Cups. What, what are these other two cups that they still have? You already know what it is. High Priestess Energy. Trust the mysteries of spirit. They got some shit working for you. Trust your intuition. You know that. It's, I feel like, I don't know about y'all Geminis, but me personally, I feel what is on the way. And I feel like it, if I can feel it, you can feel it too. The bottom of the deck is the Hermit Energy, just like the Love Oracle. <laughs> Hermit energy because right underneath that hermit is this goddamn page of wands. This childish ass in and out energy. They like you until they find a new shinier toy. Okay? So you need to go into this hermit mode, Gemini, to do some soul searching, some introspection. And just like that first card said, it's time for you to be alone. Spend time by yourself. Stop giving energy to this energy vampire. Because that's what they are. They don't want shit from you but to waste your time. And I said that yesterday. If you didn't see yesterday's reading, go back and read that. Let me watch that. All right. So, yeah, let's move on to the monology. This person is, is playing big games. 
This person is playing big games. It's time to release them. To <laughs> disseminating moon card. This energy is an energy of completion. When the smoke clears, you can finally breathe out. This is an energy telling you that you can finally exhale. We're leading you to peace. Some of you all have already made the decision to leave this where it's at. And you're already experiencing your breakthrough. You're already finding that peace, getting that wish fulfillment, and entering into your new cycle. Okay? This new cycle is going to be lit. But you need to understand that you are good enough. Don't let whatever happened in this relationship, whatever negative uh, influence this relationship had on you, the crazy way that this person talked to you, demeaned you, dogged you, took from you, depleted you, leave that shit right where it's at. And understand with this full moon in Virgo that you are good enough. If this person tried to convince you that they're the only person who's ever going to love you, motherfuck them. Fuck them. That is a lie. The universe is saying you are good enough. And they're trying to show you with this Wheel of Fortune energy. They said we're going to show you that you are deserving of all the beautiful things. Okay? It's too many, but the card that flips over at last is your hard work is paying off. So if you have already embarked on your healing journey, if you have already been putting in the work, the universe is saying it is paying off. Keep going. Keep doing it. Because you're about to see some real success with this fool in the wheel of fortune energy. You just got to let go of that past hurt. And you got to let go of this person. And you got to really establish some boundaries with this person. If they're still able to contact you, they shouldn't be. Is there a reason why they're not blocked on everything? Is there a reason why they still have access to you as if they deserve it? I don't think so, Gemini. I don't think there's any reason why they should still have access to you. The first card that comes out in the Rebel deck says some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. It needs no further explanation. The next one says, stop sleeping so damn much. This person might have you depressed in the aftermath. All you want to do is work and sleep. You don't even want to go to work. You go to work because you have to. You wake up, you go to work, probably half cute. <laughs> you might uh, put a little edge control. But then you come back home and you in the bed. Wake up, you're missing some cool shit. All right, it's time to snap out of that, Jim. And the last card says, you need some fucking yoga in your life. <laughs> I feel like y'all got this already. We got this already early in the, earlier in the week. Um, but ancient shit is cool. Yoga, it's a practice of deep stretching, deep breathing, uh, meditation. Like, it is a very spiritual um, type of you know, exercise. Um, and it could be that there's an, a necessity for that as well. This is something that could get you focused, get you centered, and bring you to this nine of cups and bring you to this peace. So if that's not something you practice, that might be something that you need to look into, or at the very least, practice some, some deep breathing. All right? When you wake up in the morning, get into some type of stretching routine, some type of meditation, and some deep breathing. Go outside. Breathe in some fresh air. But it's really time to move past whatever this is, Gemini. And quite frankly, I'm tired of reading about it. So can we not? <laughs> can we move on? Um, but that's what's happening for you, Gem. Let's get some advice in your postcard from Spirit. Hmm. We have the Mother of Cups in reverse. You're not healing. In fact, I feel like some of you all are... <laughs> some of you all are engaging in some sporadic, reckless type of action. Um, maybe even coaxing this person, engaging in this person... 
I'm going back and forth with this person. Um, we have the devil card showing up as well at the bottom of the deck. But the most important card here is the four of swords. You need a rest from this. You need a break from this. You need recovery from this, okay? So you need to stop engaging with this devil. Stop engaging with this devil. And focus on getting your healing, finding your balance, temper yourselves, okay? That's the way that you level up. The Hierophant is present as well. If you want some type of growth, prosperity, and level up here, hello? If you want these things, if you want to get rid of this devil and have this, this temperance, this growth, this, this balance, this peace, then you're needing to take control of the situation and get after that shit. Have willpower. Stop breaking um, Stop breaking your will for this person. If they call you 17 times, on the 18th time, don't answer. On the 18th time, do, 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 do. The number you have called is no longer in service. Okay? Period. So stop entertaining this. You're being reckless. You're being wild. You're not healing. And that needs to stop. This is a time for healing. Not this wild shit right here. All right? So get your emotions in check. Get yourself some temperance. And stop being reckless. And get focused. Focus on yourself, Gemini. It is time to heal. Y'all making me angry now. Shit. <laughs> I'm tired of doing these love readings. I, I don't, I didn't want it to be about love, but these are the messages that I'm channeling. Okay. It's time for us to get focused on us. We, we are the magicians. We are capable of so much more than chasing around some fucking loser who don't deserve us. Imagine that. Imagine the motherfucking empress chasing around a gesture like you're a whole fool you're a whole idiot why am i chasing you <laughs> come on y'all so your postcard from spirit says dearest you there are times when loss is a part of life sometimes loss is welcome like when you leave a situation not in alignment for your highest good sometimes loss is sudden and painful like when a loved one crosses over to our dimension Regardless of the nature of the loss and your control over it, your experience is asking to be acknowledged. Tears are necessary, as is grief. When you repress the natural expression of loss and try to move on too quickly, then the unprocessed pain haunts you in destructive ways. Hello? 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 The unprocessed pain haunts you in destructive ways, okay? We don't want that for you. Instead, let your heart break wide open. Feel the loss and integrate it. See the beauty that was, the lessons learned, and know that, that as you let go of what has passed, Ever more of you still remains. That's that five of cups energy. It gets better, we promise. Your heart expands with more compassion for the world than ever before. Love heals all. We are loving you and sending you love always and forever. Spirit is saying this reckless behavior that y'all are engaging in is because you are unhealed, because you not you have not grieved the loss of the relationship. And you cannot grieve if you are still entertaining this person. All of you may not be doing that. Take it as it resonates. But some of y'all are still picking up the phone. Some of y'all are still answering the DMs. How can you move on? How can you grow? If you're still entertaining the poison, how can you be fucking cured? How? All right, <laughs> y'all got me all upset, all right? So that's all I have for y'all today. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. I promise I won't cut y'all out in the comments. But I'm a tough love type of chick, and I'm gonna give y'all tough love because y'all deserve better than whatever the hell this is. 
we deserve better than whatever the hell this is. If it don't feel good to you every day, then it is not love. Let that shit go. All right, gems. So, yeah, this is your message. If it resonates, like I said, let me know in the comments below. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And until the very next time I read for y'all, which will be tomorrow, um, I'm wishing you all love and light and everything right. And I will see y'all in the next reading. Bye.